my name is Timothy Trespass, and um, it's happening again. I was uh, all day having this feeling that something not good was going to happen, and, and I couldn't, and I can't determine what. I just feel it, and, and you know, I had this appointment to go to to see. I'm trying to get uh, care, you know, psychiatrist, medication for panic attacks and anxiety health care, you know, and so I went to this program the last time and they were very nice, and so I was supposed to go again and I got a call, they kept screwing around with the appointments and finally I went today and I get called in to see this woman I've never seen before and she has this look on her face and I, and I can feel there's something not right here. And so she starts asking me about myself and I tell her a little bit about my situation and myself and she starts asking me more and more confrontational questions and, and you know, things I really don't want to talk about. And I'm telling her, no, I, I, I don't wish to talk about this now. Uh, you're not making me feel comfortable. And, and she keeps going and pressing and pressuring and, and accusational and getting me really upset. I started having a panic attack. I had to take some medication. I said, you're, you're, you know, you're, I don't like what you're doing with me. You're causing me to have a panic attack. I wish you could please change your style and not be so aggressive and, and demand all these things. Uh, and she was trying to, you know, basically say that uh, I must be on drugs and that it must be, you know, this that's causing me to believe these things. And, um, and I said, look, I see where you're where you're going with this, and I don't appreciate it. Uh, you know, so I picked up my chair to go move around the back of the huge desk where she sits. And I took about a half a step. She said, no. So I sat down and I said, well, could you please come and, and sit over here with me so I could show you these photographs that I have and explain to you what's in them? No. Uh, you can slide the phone over the desk. So I said, fine. I said, look, I, I really, I can't work with you. I don't like you. I don't like your style. I don't like what you're doing with me. It's making me very uncomfortable. I'm having a panic attack. Please, I can't continue this. Um, I was very upset, and so she said, okay, here's what you're going to do. You're going to go in the other room in the lobby with the receptionist and, and take a breath and just sit there and wait, and someone will come and take care of you and talk to you. I said, okay. So I left the room and go to the, I turned back, I said, listen, I'm going to go smoke a cigarette. I, I need to get some air. I was shaking, I was crying, I was, you know, frightened and, and badgered and attacked, I felt. You know, I said earlier, I said, look, you know, I've been through so much trauma in my life. I, I don't think you could even dream or imagine the things that I've experienced. They've been horrible. And I wish to be, you know, pushed in such a way to make me feel so uncomfortable. So I go, and she says, no, don't smoke a cigarette. Go sit in the lobby. So I go back and I tell the woman, look, I'm going downstairs. I have to smoke a cigarette. And as I'm sitting downstairs, the police show up, and then more police, and more police, and an ambulance, and I leave. And, you know, because I know where this is going, I've seen it before. I had my old landlord, in order to get us out so she could get her security deposit back, uh, had had stomach surgery or something, and she accused me of beating her up. Uh, and I was arrested, I went to jail, I got very sick, and the thing was dismissed because they didn't follow through, but because I didn't do anything. But, you know, here we go again now with somebody, uh, I assume she has to have accused me of something, uh, even though I am not a danger to myself or others, I was not threatening, I didn't, I wasn't violent, I didn't threaten her or say anything, you know. That I was being made very uncomfortable. I didn't like what she was doing. I didn't like her style. I didn't like her. I didn't like what she was doing to me. And so now I'm trying to come home, and, and I got my landlord calling me. Are the police are there? The ambulance is there? What's going on? Where are you? You know, this is the same thing they did before. Get somebody to call you and have you come home so they can arrest you. And, and I, you know, again, you know, it's like, all right. I, I'm done. I, I can't seek help because nobody's going to help me. 
Uh, every time this kind of thing happens, it just makes it worse, and uh, I'm being silenced. And, and, uh, so I have nothing more to say, really. Uh, if, if I'd never, if, if I don't return to this, it's probably because I've died in custody for my illness or something else. Um, see what happens.